Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for Basic Sorgonomics Live from the uh, Pittsburgh area, the Mayhem Studios in Beachview, the wonderful neighborhood. Somebody was asking on the Periscope as we're doing this live. I love the live, man. I love the live, doing the podcasting. Sorgatron.com, please sign up for the newsletter. we got a lot of events coming up, evening with PodCamp. If you're listening to this in the morning of Podcast Day, International Podcast Day, very excited about this. Love to see this movement happening to try to uh, expand the horizons of podcasting, uh, whether introducing new people that want to podcast, people that want to listen to podcasts, whatever the case may be. It's, it's kind of reigniting that grassroots movement and uh, I, I'm really digging uh, that kind of situation. Now, what's going on for us? Uh, you know, we uh, last year what was easy. We just uh, uh, we did our podcast and talked about podcast day on podcast day because it was a Tuesday, and that's the day that we do our podcast, anyways. I uh, actually was already using hashtag podcast day before uh, this this went down. So, ah, whatever. I, they can have it for a day. I got it the rest of the year for my Tuesdays. But anyways. Um, so, no, I will say we talked to uh, one of the guys behind International Podcast Day uh, about a year ago, and, and it's a really cool movement. And, and I love people's inventiveness and in getting out there and, and letting people know about, uh, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the art form of podcasting. It's also interesting to uh, we just had on uh, as I'm recording this, we're just after the Wrestling Mayhem show and the Indie Mayhem show. And of course, Wrestling Mayhem show is the longest thing that I've probably ever done in my life, uh, creeping up on 10 years coming up in January. And, uh, you know, we actually had on uh, a guy that he's a, a ring announcer with a, a local wrestling fed, Bert LeGrand, real uh, OSLBL in uh, on the Twitters, please. He's a very new Twitterer. Please go follow him. Um and part of the discussion is he works in radio. He actually works regularly in radio in his day job and still looks at podcasting as a very interesting and important form of uh, communication of media, of, of production, of, of, of everything. Uh, and, and, you know, just because it's not, well, as he stated, um, it's not confined to the limitations of sponsors etc you know a sponsor goes away you know how does that react uh as far as the show goes you know does he still have a job etc versus podcasting uh, it doesn't even have to do that we're not advertising supported this is uh a lot of times my podcasts are run either out of the pure joy of talking with people that i get to connect with because of these uh, usually around the technology or the wrestling fields or if they are even for a client they're supplemental to something else that is the money maker or something else that they're providing. And it's just, it's just a way to get information out there. And I think that's something that when people look at podcasting, they're seeing the serials, the Kevin Smith, the everything like that. No, oh, sponsored by Squarespace. They're making money at this. Somebody's job is to podcast. And that's not always that old method of well, they got sponsors and this and ad buys and etc. Man, I suck at ad buys. Uh, I know how to make a podcast. I don't know how to sell advertising on this thing, and I've been trying. And we got some great stuff. Uh, you know, we have some partners. There's a slice on Broadway. Uh, they give us a free pizza every week, right? You know, it's something that helps support the cause, support what we're doing around here, and uh, and and it's highly, highly appreciated. Or we do have Patreon supporters, and this is after a long time. Like the fact that we have three people willing to give us money uh, for people across all the podcasts actually they're willing to give us money uh for the show and yes it's only four people versus like the tom maris out there that have you know two thousand people they probably pay a couple of bills for them uh, i'm sure you know that's still significant for us because we're not somebody with the the brand equity that's been on television and radio for how many years uh or on bigger websites and everything that that people are digging this stuff so much that they want to do that is is really cool and shows are just little signals that we're on the right track um and I encourage you uh, on this podcast day, on this podcast yes, of all podcast days, uh, for you to get out there and support podcasting, uh, whether it be just stuff you listen to, you know, I, uh, go rate something, go say, hey, thanks, I'm really digging that show, uh, as you know, kind of that 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 gratitude factor, right? Uh, in other words, it's come from another podcast this week, uh, and just kind of that idea of um, supporting the art form 
and not just money, not just anything, not just clicking on the ad if they have that kind of thing going on, uh, and, and of any size, whether it's a guy in his basement doing a radio show or a podcast uh, where he talks for 10 minutes, or it's uh, even, I, I said on one of the other shows, even it's Kevin Smith, you know, uh, he's not exactly making um, um, a ton, 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 ton of money off of that podcasting. He does a lot of other things too. And most that do podcasts are, it's a supplemental to comedy or or a show or something else that's going on, some other content for a website perhaps, you know. And, and, and I think when you do that, you know, it's a heavier weight to it if you say thank you uh, or leave that comment and are genuine about it. Um, and for you guys wanting to start a podcast, you know, again, my general idea is do it. Try it. Get in front of a microphone. Hop on Blog Talk Radio. Hop on Talk Shoe. Hop on anything. It's free. It's free. Spreaker is a good example, right? Uh, there's a lot of things you could be doing to to just get your voice out there and if you, even if it's just something you go out there and and you have a conversation with one new person because of that i think that's the part of it um i was told one time uh i was interviewed for a book that i don't know if it ever happened i was actually talking with somebody lately if it ever happened and this was a good five years probably longer i, I probably was only podcasting for three years at the time and we talked about podcasting i think we talked about social media a little bit too and that, you know, mine was one of the most social media e of, of the podcast that he had talked to, uh, which I took in a great, you know, again, gratitude of. And uh, and I think that communication, if I'm not communicating, um, even even this, that it's a monologue. If I see I'm addicted to the feedback, right, because I have a periscope up. And I want to see people are harding me or comments or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Maybe that's just a weird thing that's broken in my brain. Uh, but I feel like it helps and enhances what I'm making in front of a microphone. And we're the podcast about podcasting as we get more and more down the meta rabbit hole. But. But no, I, I seriously do. And I think um, even if it wasn't a case where I became um, that part of my business was helping others with this medium of podcasting, uh, I think I would be doing it anyway. So yeah, I was doing it anyways until I decided, mm, let's go this other direction. And even the immediately, it wasn't to help others with podcasts. I just wanted to make videos. I just wanted to make marketing videos. I just wanted to make make creative videos for for clients and everything. And uh, most of my work has turned into uh, here I am behind a microphone again. Here I am helping you behind your microphone and uh, and organizing and orchestrating that situation. I think that is uh, you know I, that the, it kind of developed you know and there was a need for it. And not everybody's going to need podcasting help forever. And I don't know, maybe this will turn into something else. Maybe this will turn into basically the same kind of job as uh, our, my friend here was that goes to the radio and helps. The more he described what he does to help his uh, clients and, and, and his show hosts and everything that he does makes me wonder, you know, is that the future of what I'll be doing for people in this podcast space as, as I keep going and hopefully determine some kind of notoriety that somebody will hire me to do more of these things. Um, you know, that's, that's the goal, right? Is to, is to grow this thing and grow whatever's going on and, and help you guys grow the thing that you're growing. You know, I mean, it, it, very, very, uh, uh, deep in my soul. I just want to see people make something. <laughs> I love seeing creativity. I love being around a co-working space that has an energy of people making something that they are definitely passionate about. Uh, and that's what I'm thriving on the most. The money is unfortunately secondary, which is a problem for me. Uh, but, uh, but no, it is. It really is. It's just like, I just want to make some cool stuff. And, uh, and I always will, as long as I have a microphone and, RS, R, and access to an RSS feed, I can talk to you guys. What are you doing to celebrate podcast day? Let me know. 
on the social medias at Sorgatron on the Facebook, wherever you find this video or audio, if there's a comments thing. But again, you can always just drop back to Sorgatron.com and find a link in, or contact form from there. Please again, sign up for my uh, newsletter. I'll be writing probably about podcasting this weekend. Uh, and those always come out Friday and we got a lot of fun stuff going on. I can't wait to tell you guys about some of the projects I'm working on in the background and some of the new developments we're working on uh, as we go here. Uh, there's always going to be something. If we're doing well, there's always going to be something. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.